But we begin, as always, with three things investors ought to be thinking about right now. Stocks slid on more evidence of a booming jobs market, but investors are optimistic rates are close to a peak. Should they be more cautious? Show us a low-quality stock, and we will show you massive gains, why the garbage rally should scare investors. And Wall Street loved Meta's earnings report, but gave mixed reviews to other big tech names, what we've learned about the market leaders. On the Barron's Roundtable, my colleagues Ben Levison, Carlton English, and Jack Howe. So, Ben, that great jobs number, of course, means perhaps the Fed is going to have to raise rates for even, even higher, even longer. Um, Jerome Powell has made it clear he is not backing down from his fight against inflation. Earnings are coming in kind of eh. Um, why would people be actually purchasing stocks? You know, this is one wacky market. I mean, if we got these kind of numbers six months ago, I think the Nasdaq would have been down 5%. Um, but that's not what's happening. The market is done listening to the Fed. It stopped worrying about uh, inflation, and it's in rally mode. I mean, this is, uh, we're going to hear from Andrew Barry later. He calls this a bull market, and it's sure acting like one. You get bad news, and it goes down a little bit, but it rallies right back. And I think that's just what's going on right now. Let's hear what they're saying. Three bears who stand against the market, but they're pretty prominent strategists. Well, what's the case for betting against this rally? Well, when you look at the stocks that are rallying right now, they're not the kind of great stocks. We're going to hear more about this from Jack, but these are low quality stocks. The stuff that's not doing well are the things that you actually do want to own for the long term. Things like uh, United Health, which uh, spits off great cash flow, is a good business, very profitable, getting killed this year. Um, and those kind of stocks are just not doing well. That's not something that uh, you would really want to be seeing if this was going to be going on for a while. We're also seeing valuations are still very high. And we're still seeing those uh, indicators aside from the job market are still pointing to recession and it might take a little while to get there but it probably will and so those are the kind of things that worry people a lot right now and if earnings uh, if, if we have a recession then that PDE multiple those valuations will be even higher it really will uh, so Jack um, why is it that if I want to make money in the stock market right now I have to go find the worst company hey, I can find Ben mentioned a bull market we've gone I think straight from bear market rally to hot garbage free-for-all I was looking at one point this past week, GameStop was up more than 20% year-to-date. AMC up more than 40%. Coinbase, 130%. Carvana, 200%. I'm not calling these garbage companies, understand. I don't want to end up in, you know, garbitration here. These are, <laughs> these are just maybe not the best ideas as stocks. Um, Bitcoin was up more than 40%. Uh, so was ARK Innovation, the ETF. This is a bull market for bad ideas. All you have to do is you have to find something ill-advised that hasn't run yet, and you just wait, and you can make, right? Isn't that how it works? You is make it great too late to buy Dogecoin? I went, I went looking. Bed Bath & Beyond, that one's in default. That popped more than 30% at one point just this past week. Dogecoin, forget about it. You're way too late. That's up 30% uh, for the year. I'm still looking. If anyone has ideas, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm waiting for one. I haven't screened yet for, uh, you know, non-fungible holographic monkey cartoons. That's more of a late cycle asset. There might still be good value there. Uh, this does not bode well, I would think, wouldn't think, for, for the market at large. You know, I, I, I think it's generally a bad idea to try to time the market. But if you were thinking about taking a more cautious stance, I would just say, you know, Dogecoin is kind of my leading indicator. When the parody make-believe internet money is running in tandem with the make-believe internet money, I think it's maybe time to raise a little bit of non-make-believe cash. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Uh, Carlton, uh, we had an earnings report from Meta, Facebook, uh, that pleased investors a lot. They think maybe Mark Zuckerberg is getting serious, maybe not putting all his eggs in the, in the metaverse. Um, tell us what we heard and, and what, is, what do we hear from the other internet companies? Not so great. Yeah, so one thing to think about with Meta, uh, shares went up about 20% after posting earnings. Zuckerberg getting religion after having a brutal third quarter. Remember, the company lost about a quarter of its market value the last time it posted earnings. Realizing that, um, you know, it has to cut costs. Um, shareholders like that it plans to return capital to um, shareholders. But the other side of the tech sector was a little bit more challenging. Um, you had companies like Apple, Amazon, and Alphabet, you know, kind of posting mixed results, seeing uh, slowing growth, things like that. Stocks did not do so well. Now this, if we want to go off what Jack was just talking about with uh, garbage, I think the market might be getting a little ahead of itself going negative on these other tech companies that talked about slowing growth. Because if you look at what these companies were saying 
in the fourth quarter. You know, many of them announced layoffs or plans to cut costs. And now we're getting all this great economic data. You look at what the jobs report said. People are going to be spending money again. So things like ad revenue or in the case of Amazon shopping or in the case of Apple uh, sales of iPhones now that they've eased their supply constraints are going to be a little bit better. So I, I'm actually feeling good about the tech sector. I'm not putting it in that hot garbage category. Uh, I want to follow up on Amazon because that company had a brutal last year and then in these most recent earnings said it actually didn't make money. I have trouble believing that. That sounds like accounting <laughs> gimmickry to me. Uh, but what do, you, what do you see in Amazon? Yeah, so Amazon had a problem where everyone was expecting the cloud business to just continue delivering 30% revenue growth. Well, now it's only 20. Wow, wow. You know, it's a maturing business. And I think that's what's going on there now. Gotcha. All righty.